What's good guys, it's Miltendo here and I'm here to bring you a part 2 of my Pirates 101 special. With the update that came out on September 12th on National Video Game Day, I decided to do a live stream the day after in order to actually do the quest on one of my Pirates 101 characters, my Musketeer. Unfortunately, as demonstrated in my previous video, that run did not go well, so I have to redeem myself, right? For this video round, I'm actually going to be playing as my privateer, my first ever created character that I built as, for some reason, <clears throat> an offense-built privateer back in 2012. Now, I don't often like use this character a lot around impracticality, but as much as I do <clears throat> my witch doctor and musketeer, but he comes in handy sometimes, and it's about time I actually bring his somewhat offensive capabilities to use for this one battle. This is going to be a once in a while kind of specials in order to de demonstrate my somewhat dexterity in playing Pirates 101 since I kind of took a few year absence away from the game. But I hope you guys will be able to enjoy the video that I show you here today and be able to subscribe to my content this way uh, for any more Pirates 101 follow up videos in the meantime. But for now, I'm going to jump straight to entering the dungeon itself and avoiding all of the beginning dialogue since we actually caught that in the beginning of our previous video. So without further ado, let's begin. Welcome, weak vision, to I who left him master to turn him back on true power. You are a lie. When I and I consume your mojo, I will be all powerful. All right, guys, so this time around, I decided to choose Old Scratch, Emmett, and Gracie. I actually took notice of uh, Stephanie's video and kind of got inspired by her to actually do this video on my own because we have a pretty good... Privateers have a pretty good survival rate. And so I wanted to actually give this a try to actually survive this battle on my own. So I decided to bomb first turn, mojo, buff. Uh, the strongest mojo buff on the first turn, so Gracie can be struck with a grenade. This is the funny part. Try to use Akioboros on the grenade and it just resisted the attack. <laughs> and so placing there on purpose was really funny to watch that much health go down by those mobs. So as you can see the amount of health they have left, I pretty much took down a third of their health for from that four over there. And thanks to the black rain shades that I've kept for those years in the past, I was able to put my teleporter to good use. I still moj buff. I sent Emmett and Gracie on their way. And would you look at that? Scratch kind of got distracted. I used Witch Hunter. He still used Do Mojo. Mr. Neville still heals. But the heal doesn't do that much because he wasn't completely Mojo boosted. I used Repel Borders. Use Relentless. Take that down. Blade Storm. Boom. Made sure to actually um, learn some epics that I can combo with. Decide to use more big guns here so I can like make use of my Mojo buffs. Take those out. Have Gracie summon her golem. That could have been a critical, but that's fine. And the thing is about this Privy is that... Yes, I have... There goes Witch Hunter again. He's trying to use Occuboros on me, so that boosts down my mojo, but... For the rest of... Ooh, that's a mega heal. But for the most part of this battle... It's only like maybe a good percentage of the time that I use my mojo abilities, but most of the time I play offense in which I use my offensive attacks because my pet gives me brutal charge. See, and also vengeance strike. And blade storm comes from my weapon. Which I stitched. Old scratch takes down a mugger. No. 
kill. Um, okay, now Gracie does it. She blocks, okay, not bad either. So by the least of it, me being on the boss's side on this end, here I use an Assassin Strike on Scratch because why not? Send, send a summon, go to attack. I went to Elusive, I should have gone turn the tie from something. It helps deliver a kill and also for me to activate Blastorm, which I missed, which I got pretty mad at. Well, could be worse, but I'm still pretty salty that I missed that Blade Storm. Mojo Echo should have killed that. The amount of dodge or accuracy these mobs have is pretty amazing, really. Should have been dead. What's pretty annoying is the summons, but still not annoying. Not as annoying, actually. But, like, killing the bosses just takes a very steady amount of time. Because he keeps on summoning, and if you don't kill the summoner right off the bat, he would just keep on summoning. But what's pretty interesting is that now that I notice it, this swashbuckler, Bones McAvoy, he just plays defensively for a swashbuckler. Of course, like, any class can play defensively. But, like, if you're a buccaneer or a swashbuckler, most of the time you're on the offense. And it appears that... Every turn, see, instead of attacking Bones McCoy, now I said the name correctly, Bones McCoy just keeps on making summons, which is more of a thing for witch doctors to do, and here Gracie Conrad delivers a critical, and then, block again. Somehow we're actually doing decent with blocks and responding to hits. I just only have Emmett there because at least he can use True Grit, and there goes my pet. The pet that gives me Brutal Charge and Vengeance Strike. Yeah, Mr. Neville just has a lot of health, so he's pretty annoying to take down. I think I probably could have used my Brutal my brutal Charge at that moment. But at the same time, I want to be able to use my attack selectively. So I can be able to fo finish McCoy. There I go with a heal with from Emmett. It's like he used an attack on McCoy to Blade Storm onto Mr. Neville. Use my Repel Borders again. Thank goodness I have Repel Borders 3, but I should have gotten a Repose for my pet. I dodged that arrow. How'd I do that? I don't know. There goes the Water Golem doing his thing. Double Blades. There's a Blade Storm. Double Blade Storm. Yes, I was correct. The pet goes and attacks. I think he used a Heal Over Time to Bloon. Now I use my Brutal. And I send Scratch to Summon. That kind of could warrant the Blaze Storm on the wrong opponent, but that's still fine. Vengeance Strike. Almost had him. Which, live, which left me until the next turn. Double tap on that. Blaze Storm on that. Boom. Thumbs up, Gracie. Thumbs up. And why she gives the thumbs up? Because you should give this video a thumbs up. I'm just narrating through this sped up battle that I that took me quite some time to be able to finish. As I said, like once you get a handle on the bosses, it's not really like in my previous video. Once you get a handle on the bosses, the battle is not really too hard. I end up healing myself because I really want to be able to stay alive and not get pummeled by the minions. Old Scratch's drain health should have worked better. But the Mojo's boost had ran out. McCoy still summons. It's quite interesting he decides to summon a Scorpion now because normally he would summon the undead and Gracie goes down. For the record, Gracie was the only companion who I lost that day when I did this battle. So her golem still stuck around apparently because he has a... That golem has a pretty good survival rate for, during this run. Play Storm onto that just as I planned. Yeah, that's like a pretty bad drawback with the way I trained Emmett. If I, if I was on a membership, I probably could have reset his talents and epics. Because he really can't actually combo pretty well on all these melee units. He's only good for countering like ranged attackers. And so mostly I got buffs and heals in my hand now. Decide to use a heal to balloon 
increase the critical so we can try to finish this faster. There goes Emmett doing his thing. Goes into double tap. Alright, that's something. This still takes damage. Ouch. Ouch. True grit. That works. I was expecting that. Which kind of makes me envious that, like, my pet really doesn't have repost because at the time, I haven't done any pet morphing the last time I logged on to my privateer. I cr apply another critical boost. Scratch finally does some kind of critical. That could have been a critical. Ouch on Emmett. True Grit. Ouch on Scratch. Don't worry, Scratch will live. For some reason, I didn't actually... I was probably a little bit dumb in not actually boosting Scratch's health. I made him a more damage-heavy Witch Doctor, which comes at a pretty great cost. In which he becomes incredibly squishy. Decided to give all of us a heal. He delivers another epic. Perfect. Saw that coming. Double tap. And ouch, he dodges that. Got that true grit right up in the face. Coward's Bane and misses. That could have warranted a repost. I swear for every time I dodge, I could probably earn $10. For every $10 I earn, I probably could have ended up being rich. Probably could earn me enough crowns in order to actually get me the crowns gears that I want. <laughs> Let's see. I don't have an AoEs, so I'm just like doing the old privateer ways of buffing and healing. That did pretty good damage. Double tap on that. Oof, mega on that. That could have warranted another double tap, but I didn't teach. I didn't teach um, double tap too. That's confusing blade storm for double tap, but both function in the same way. There goes the War Golem doing his thing. And oh my god, triple blade storm all the way. What, 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 what? Okay. So now we got Mr. Neville, the Scorpion, the Annoying Scorpion, and two Moogers left. Two regular Skeletal Moogers. Get borked. Get borked. Boom. That could have warranted a repost. I say that too many times. So now all that's left to get borked, all that's left to get borked is Mr. Neville and the Scorpion. If you notice right here, Mr. Neville has been doing nothing the entire time. He's a Buccaneer who's... Doing pretty much nothing. Like, he doesn't attack me. He only responds to hits. There goes the War Golem. Like, after all the healing, all the buffing is done, he's like... I'm not... I'm not built or function or paid to actually function anymore. So I decided to boom my War Golem. Because why the heck not? It's probably the most offensive unit out there. Yeah, a Mr. Neville, he has Riposte, Bladestorm... Yet he doesn't actually, he can counter hits, but like, see? He did not go for an attack. He didn't go for a heal, he didn't go for a buff. So it's it's like as if, scra if it's as if like his homie Scratch is gone, he just stops. He's just having an existential crisis and boom, he goes down. And that's my playthrough of soloing the old Scratch boss, my private. I hope you enjoyed this video and... Be sure to give me a like and subscribe for any more gaming content, maybe Pyro 101 related. Scratch the goodness in your heart, be it not a weakness, but a strength. The deed is done, Captain. Let us return to a tavern cellar. Did you actually notice there was like a coding error in that quest goal thing? I noticed that too. There's like an underscore there. So it's kind of obvious that they were actually rushing to get this quest out. I'm actually pretty amazed how I can be able to see through this pretty dark, damp alleyway. And also, as you can see, the game is not optimized to fit my monitor. Because it still works under 1920 by 1080. Uh, what I'm looking through my deck right now, what I could have learned more is Walk in Shadows, another Sneak Attack. I have some other boots options I could have like used. That I still kept in my backpack for. I could have used my Mojo Storm Boots, which would be of great hope for the Mojo buff period of time. But regardless, I think this is still a good run for the most part. Stronger am I now, my captain. I feel I have taken back my destiny, my future. But we must beware where there be one nightmare door. 
More will come. This be but the first, I think. We must find more skeleton keys and fight these reflections until the threat of these dream shadows be lifted forever. <laughs>